Gotcha. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Monster in a World video. This is the Game Economist, and today we're going to be talking about the news. It is November 14th. We get one more day of Kovtaroth on the consoles, and then you know tomorrow she's going to be gone. So you better get in there, and you better farm her up if you haven't gotten the Glutton Heavy Bow Gun or the the best bows. There are a lot of good bows that you get with Kovtaroth. There's a lot of weapons you get with Kovtaroth. So if you haven't gotten your stuff, you better get in there, and you better farm her right now. And what we're going to be getting next is Arch-Tempered Zenijiva. So tomorrow, Arch-Tempered Zenijiva comes out. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, you know, it feels like it's taken forever for Arch-Tempered Zenijiva to come out because it has taken forever. Uh, they gave us two weeks of Arch-Tempered Zora Magdaros, and that's it. It was very boring. And then they gave us this little lull of time in between us, uh, in between that, where we got Kul Taroth and nothing. And now we're finally reaching Arch-Tempered Zenijiva, and you'll notice it lasts for a whole month. And originally, I was, uh, you know, speculating that the reason it's for a full month is because we're going to have the winter seasonal event cut in there, the Christmas event. And you know what? It's still not on the event schedule, so I'm starting to feel a little cynical about it. I have a suspicion that we might actually have a full month of just Arch Tempered Zenishiva, which I think is, again, kind of a big mistake because everybody's going to farm the set off of Arch Tempered Zenishiva, and then you're going to be done with them, right? I, there's, I mean, unless they make Arch Tempered Zenishiva really fun somehow, it's, it's still possible. It's just that they... Uh, up to now, they haven't really done that. That hasn't been their strategy. It's more like give the monster more damage, give the monster a whole bunch of health, and make sure the monster decimates teams so that it's best to fight him solo. <laughs> that, that's that's been my impression of the Arch Tempered monsters. You know my impression. I don't really like them. I'm not a big fan. So Arch Tempered Zenjiva for a full month, and then probably the winter event after that. That's that's probably what it's looking like at this point. So maybe the winter event in the last two weeks of December, and then we jump over into January, at which point we'll probably see Arch-Tempered Nergigante, and I don't know what else. It could be a whole month of Arch-Tempered Nergigante, apparently, because we're getting a whole month of Arch-Tempered Zenijiva. My my request is that they make Arch-Tempered, what do you think, Gyrotodus? Is that even how you say his name? I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Anyways. Over on the PC, you guys, it's an exciting time for you as well. You guys are getting Lunastra on November 22nd. You're also getting the Code Red event as well. And that's the Dante event where you, uh, you'll you have the Dante Charge Blade. I never play with Charge Blade, so I have no comment on that. Maybe somebody in the comment section can tell us if the Charge Blade was any good. Like, it, I don't... I don't ever see anybody using it, so I presume it's not the best charge blade. And then his armor is pretty cool. Really, it's just his leggings that you should pay attention to. You get two levels of weakness exploit and two small decoration slots. That's uh, pretty common for in terms of legs efficient, leg efficiency. It's kind of up there, right, with the other good legs. The only problem is I never really find a situation where I need weakness exploit in the leg slot because the Dragon King eye patch already does such a great job right? Or, I mean, there's other pieces of armor that you can get weakness exploit, especially if you already have the decorations, right? So, but the, the leggings are the only decent pair, uh, piece of armor in the set, in my opinion, which is pro probably why I won't do an armor set review for the Dante set. We, we also are going to be having the Lunastra Alpha Beta set, which I did do a review on. If you would like to see that, I'll leave a link in the comment and the description. And uh, yeah, the Lunastra set actually is a very game-changing set. It's an excellent set. So is the Gamma set. The Gamma set is interesting too, even, uh, maybe not as much, but it's, I actually saw a, a high-tier speedrunner using, uh, was it the arms? I think it was the arms of the Lunastra uh, Gamma set. I should say the name right from now on. Uh, and yeah, it surprised me because everyone was so cynical about it. They didn't think it would be useful. So Lunastra armor is coming to the PC, Dante armor is coming to the PC, and then after that, for you players on the PC, what you should be looking forward to is Arch-Tempered Kirin. Arch-Tempered Kirin's armor set does add things to the meta as well, and uh, Arch-Tempered Valhazak comes after that. My guess is for the PC, we're probably going to be, because they're, they're trying to get it all done, right? Uh, my guess is that the PC receives the Behemoth in late December or early January, that's my bet. I'm going to bet they're trying to get you guys all the way caught up to the consoles in time for February. My theory is that in February, they're either going to release a large DLC or they're going to announce a large DLC, one or the other. And uh, yeah, that's what I think will happen. You guys can share your theories about what you think will happen in the uh, following months. Uh, Monster Hunter World is still Capcom's best-selling game. I hardly doubt that they're not putting a lot of effort into whatever's coming down the road. I'm sure they're just letting the October games do whatever they're going to do, and then they're going to make their announcement for the DLC without having to compete with all those new fresh games. That's my 
that's what I'm suspecting. You know, if you're thinking like a strategist, that, that's what I would do. I would avoid those competing directly with those other games and announce your DLC later when people are ready to come back to the game. There's been a noticeable drop in, in participation, in my opinion, on the consoles. The PC, I hear, is still rocking a pretty strong population, but the consoles have kind of died down. People are getting a little tired of the Arch-Tempered Monsters, and unfortunately, we're going to see that a little longer with the Arch-Tempered Senegiva and then the Winter Event with the Winter Armor that really isn't that impressive. All right, well, that is all of the news. Uh, you know, if anything else really interesting pops up, I guess I'll make another one of these. I didn't expect so much news to roll around right after making one of these videos, but it did. You know, uh, AT, uh, Arch Tempers, and Ajiva's coming out. Uh, PC's getting Lunastra. PC's probably going to be getting Arch Tempered uh, Curan soon. So there was more stuff to talk about, and uh, that's why I'm here. All right, well, that is everything I wanted to say. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.